poppy people i'm back with another video and today i want to show you guys how to apply press on nails with peel off base coat underneath and let you guys know how long it actually lasts i just recently got in a new peel off base coat so this is a paste coat i just got in from gayoi um and it is a uv led peel off base i did use it on this hand and I just want to show you guys how to use it on the other hand. This is what it's looking like. It's a 16 ml bottle and as you all can see it says peel off base. So really quick I'm going to show you guys how to apply press on nails using this peel off base coat underneath and I'll let you guys know how long it lasts. Okay. And I'm really doing this video for the purposes of testing this peel off base coat because I've been using my Moran peel off base coat and I've been loving it. I typically get anywhere from three to five days of wear off this peel off base coat. So about a week essentially. Sometimes it lasts longer depending on what um, nail glue I use but um, this is my old one and I just want to test this one out to see how it compares okay really quick I want to look at the consistency of this peel off base it is very thick which I really like in a peel off base um, seems like it's going to be really easy to apply you'll have full control over the product okay so first thing you want to do is push back your cuticles on all your nails I want to try to leave this video in real time so that you all can see how quick and easy gel X nails slash applying press on nails with gel really is so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and push back my cuticles really quick like so Okay, so now that the cuticles are all pushed back, I'm gonna just dehydrate my nails with a little bit of alcohol. And again, I don't want these nails to actually last too long, so I'm not doing any real prep to them, okay? I'm just literally like throwing these on. I wanna film a couple videos and then I'll likely pop them off. If they last longer than that, then I'll um, you know wear them to work for the week, okay? So after you've applied your alcohol, then you wanna go ahead and go in with your peel off base and apply it to all your nails. You wanna go in with a nice, thin layer of the peel off base okay you don't want too much now, this peel off base is really nice and easy to apply um, you definitely want to make sure it doesn't touch your side walls or your cuticle area but a nice even thin coat of this typically when you use UV gel or UV peel off base um, you do get longer wear than you would if you use just regular air dry peel off and I like that because sometimes I do need my nails on for just a couple of days and then I want to pop them off so that's what I am doing with this all right I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds Alrighty, so this is what that um, peel off base coat is looking like. I'm going to give it a quick touch. There is a slight tackiness to the surface of it, okay? I'm going to go in with my Email Couture full cover tips, and it's in the color Eternal Beige Coffin. That's what I have on already. Um, I like these nail tips because they are still a little bit translucent, so you are still able to use gel to apply them. Um, I would not recommend if you have full cover tips that are colored that are opaque to use it uh, to apply them using gel. Um, but because these are kind of still translucent, um, I can get away with doing press ons so slash the gel X method with it. But these are the full cover tips, and aren't they just the cutest? Okay, so really quick, I'm gonna show you guys how to apply it. I do have my model ones. Um, gooseneck lamp my model one smeow lamp if you guys haven't seen my review on this you definitely should check it out this nail lamp is a game changer when it comes to doing gel x nails okay i'm gonna go in with my beetles nail glue this is my my tried and true i really like this nail glue a lot um if you guys were trying to make the nails last longer, you'd want to go in and etch the inside of the nails. What's cool about these full cover tips is that the inside already comes matte, and so you really can skip that step. Um, but regardless if it was matte or not, you really don't need to etch the inside of it because, you know, for me anyway, with this method, I'm going to just be popping it right off, okay? You'll want to take just a little bit of the nail glue and kind of apply it inside the nail where you feel like your natural nail will touch, and then apply just a little bit of excess at the cuticle, okay? You'll take your nail lamp here, 
and you I'm gonna do a 30 second cure you'll definitely want to make sure you turn it on before you start this process I'm gonna go ahead and apply the nail here tuck it slightly underneath the cuticle and then once all of the product reaches the free edge I'll go ahead and cure and again I love this lamp because you know it's really easy to do your gel X you have all the space to do what you need to do alrighty so that's what the first one looks like that's just after 30 seconds I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can kind of have a better view of what I'm doing so again you'll just want to coat the inside of the nail tip with the glue like so and then just do a little bit of extra here at the cuticle Again, I'm gonna go down to the cuticle let it go to the free edge and then cure Alrighty, so this is what all the nails are looking like after they have been cured. I did get one slight air bubble here on the pinky, which is so, so sad, but that's okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a, few, a full cure of these nails underneath my nail lamp. So this is what all the nails are looking like after they have been applied. I always have an issue with my thumbnail here, but I had a lot of spillage on my thumb and um, just ever so slight spillage around the nail tips here. I'm going to show you guys how to clean all that up and then you'll be ready to rock and roll with your gel x nails slash press on nails the first thing you want to do, do is is go through and most press on nails or full cover tips have that little tab here at the tip you want to go through and just make sure you file that away i normally just do it side to side and that's just going to crispen up your tips here Okay, so that's good to go. Go ahead and dust that off really quick. And then from there, the last thing you want to do is just, like I said, go in. Um, I'm going to use uh, my cordless nail drill here. I do have a full review of this on my channel. I'm going to leave that link down in the description box below. But um, I'm going to show you all how to remove the excess gel that spewed out. You just want to go in with a really, really light hand and just kind of tap away at it and file it down. You see how it just kind of falls away. And then you essentially want to file it down until it's pretty much even with the nail. So that one's good to go. You do the same thing on all the nails. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like after they've been filed and shaped and I've removed all the excess. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really do not wanna apply top coat to these nails because I really wanna test them and see how they wear without any additional assistance as far as like the shine and gloss to them so i'm not going to um apply any base or top coat to these nails i'm going to wear them as is so the last thing left to do is just to apply some cuticle oil so i'm going to go in with some cuticle oil on all the nails and we can get into the finished look okay all right you guys ain't she cute though yes i am loving how these nails turned out 
Again, this is just a really quick, easy set to do, just to be able to pop on some nails, have them looking nice and neat, and then pop them off after the fact. I threw these on really quick because I'm about to film a lot of videos, but yeah, I am gonna come back with a one week wear test. Granted that the, the, that the press on nails last that long, with the peel off base coat but i'm going to give you guys an update and let you know how long this method actually lasts but yes i am loving how the nails turned out and yeah y'all i'll be back shortly Mom. yeah hold on baby i need help help for what my hair oh yeah hold on okay so it is exactly 17 hours later and this is what the nails are looking like i've had my first little casualty here and my pinky nail just popped off um, I have done a lot with these nails in the short amount of time that I've had them on. I've been doing laundry, I've been doing dishes, gave my little one a bath, hopped in the shower, did my hair, did her hair, my daughter's hair. I've been doing a lot, did a little bit of typing, a little bit of work, filmed a lot of videos, and so um, I've had these on for about one day, and they're already starting to separate. And if you all look at the nail bed, you can actually see your popcorn. Okay, put it in the trash. If you all see on the nail bed here, you can see that it's looking like kind of white and cloudy. So you can tell that it's already starting to separate from the nail bed already. So they're just about ready to go ahead and pop off. Um, like if you look here, you can see there's a little bit of lifting already, right? So um, yeah, I'm getting ready to go ahead and soak these off. Again, this is my first time using that um, Gayoi peel off base coat. And I'm thinking this is probably gonna be really good for like one day wear like if you need 24 hours just to have some nails on quick event or something like that this is really good to just use it to pop on and then pop off and y'all excuse my ashy hands i didn't put any lotion on because i'm gonna really soak these off i'm gonna show you guys how to remove them actually and two before i do that as you all can see this is what the nail looked like after it popped off um with this the way that it popped off i feel like if i had it actually etched the inside of my nail tip and I told you guys I intentionally avoided doing that because I didn't plan on wearing these long but if I had etched the inside of the nail tip they probably would have lasted a little bit longer because to be honest with you this nail glue still feels like it's on pretty sturdy and I feel like again the nails are just separating from the full cover tip as opposed to the actual um, pre uh, the actual peel off so I'll have to maybe try this method again etching the inside of the tip and seeing how long they last but in all fairness though, when I use my Maran peel off base coat, I don't have to etch the inside of them. I think it probably will depend on the nail glue that you use, whether or not it'll pop off. But you know, these are kind of supposed to be matte on the inside. These are supposed to be matte on the inside. And so you're supposed to be able to avoid that. But it's always good to go in as a precaution to, you know, etch the inside anyway. But I like the way these popped off because honestly, I'll be able to use these again later if I wanted to. So that's a plus to this. But yeah, let me go ahead and soak these off. I have some hot water here, and I also have me some cuticle oil. So I'm just gonna apply some cuticle oil to the nails and then let them soak for a little bit. And then uh, go ahead and get these bad boys taken off, okay? Um, I'll let you know how long it takes as far as soaking is concerned. I'll probably just soak them for like five minutes and see if they're loose to be able to get popped off. And I don't know if you necessarily need the cuticle oil, but it's always good to just kind of put it on there just in case, you know? So like, look at this. So like, this is me kind of popping it off even without doing that. But just as a as a precautionary. Ooh, this is hot, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna soak this for like um, five minutes. Ooh, that's hot. That's really hot, hot. Alrighty, so it's been about I would say five minutes and as the nails have been soaking I've just been slowly pressing the tips down at the bottom of the bowl just to try to help the process of these popping off and so let's see here so what I'm going to do is really just press at the tip of the nail and see okay yeah and boom it pops right off look at that lovely oh yeah this is great okay yeah I love this yeah you just pull at the tip and then it'll pop right off that one wasn't quite ready yet. Pull at the tip, pop right off. Okay, I think part of it, okay, yeah, here it is. And then you pull right off to the side here. Just be gentle as you're pulling. You just wanna kinda slightly nudge it up. Um, but yeah, this just seems like it's popping right on off the nail here. Yeah, there you go. And then same thing, you just kinda pop, pull at the tip. Okay, that one feel like it's not coming off, so I'll probably soak that a little bit longer, okay. And this one here, not quite ready. This one, okay. Just pull right off, pop right off. Hmm. I wonder if this one got sealed, like if the nail glue 
got all the way under. Okay, look, even if you just go in at the side at the tip, just like that, it's popping right off, okay? That is lovely. And then same thing, just kind of get a little bit underneath the nail and let it pop right on off. Just look at that, y'all, wow. This is my type of peel off glue, okay? So the nails are all good and ready to go, no damage to them. There's still just a little bit of glue on them. So let me move this over to the side. So if you look at the nail, there is still just slight nail glue on it and it looks like that's gonna peel off very easily. It kind of peels off like Elmer, Elmer's glue, so to speak. You see how it just pops right off. Um, so this one isn't as rubbery or sticky as the Maran peel off base. Um, that one definitely, you kind of had to kind of scrape the peel off off, which is probably why it lasted about, you know, three to five days as opposed to this one just lasting about a day, you know, it was 17 hours. So my nails feel good, nice and healthy. No actual damage to my natural nails. Um, this is definitely a peel off base coat that I'm going to be using, especially on the weekends when I need to film a quick video, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of cuticle oil here. So this is what the nails are looking like after the peel off base has been taken off and yeah, no damage to my natural nails at all whatsoever. So yeah, I would say this is a really good peel off base coat. I feel like all peel off, peel off base coats have a time and a place, you know, so this one lasts about, like I said, 24 hours. So this is going to be really great for me. So if it's a weekend where I want to do a lot of filming and I want to just put something on my nails really quick, um, this works out great for that because I could just wear a quick set over the weekend and just pop it off just like I showed you guys. Um, like these nails I would have loved to have worn them to work but they're kind of long so it's nice to still be able to play around with my long nails on the weekends and then do my work friendly active nail length um, during the week so yeah I would actually highly recommend this um, again compared to my Maran peel off base coat if you want something with a little bit more longevity but that's still easy to pop off I would recommend the, Ramon, the Maran peel off base I do have a full detailed video um about this product so i'll leave that link down in the description box below but this lasts anywhere from three to five weeks um with a little bit of nail prep it can last up to seven days and with this as you can see about 24 hours so um both of these will have a time and a place for me and even going a little bit further and comparing it to my nail reserve peel off base coat the nail reserve peel off base coat is kind of similar to the Oont peel off base coat in that it probably lasts about a good hour, right? So this one is a UV peel off base coat that cures and pops off pretty much as soon as you do your nails. You gotta be careful filing and all of that. Oont is kind of the same way, so it's like the gel version of it for me. But yeah, I really enjoyed this product. It was super affordable. It was only $6.99 when I purchased it and it's a 16 ml bottle. So um, I will leave it linked down in the description box below in case you guys are interested and want to get your hands on it. Super affordable and it's a great product. I did list this on my community tab as well as in my Amazon storefront. So make sure you guys are always staying tuned to those two places so that you can get these deals when I find them. Let me know what is your favorite peel off base coat and is there one that I should try that I haven't tried up to this point. Point. Um, so yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Yeah, yeah. you so sweet. She loves doing the outro with me, y'all. <laughs>